nyepamne ne kudlukula nyepangi ragala gena nyepamne ne kudlukula ibulo ke nongoto ni beti sola ato ni betoto bigi bigi kongo lamin na tenyame lamin wula kona nyi taimo lamin fabilenki Fabrama, <laughs> Eh, jamani vana na ramu duwa na ramu Nkoto mina ka ngala minje fom filetala. La minje be nori nyala. La minje be sira. Yala so rotol sa indi no albo mo lokumo mo. Nkoto. Nam. Ite rinte alo ne la min hakilo dia ta bake karambu mo. Anu sa inteng. Mina. Si suoko. La man ke mo do holi de la. Si bitun. Si bitun. Si bitun. Si bitun. Ko na di ba. Ala ni nyaba. Ala ni buke de namo ba lo. Ala ni na kosa. Ima karna bulo be dami la nije. Nkoto. Nam. Nkoto mo kontan feren feren feren. Jamani mo neke da. Lamin <laughs> Am lamin ije foyta malo ko lesi do be ke kar radio to nga fayne nga fayne iko yaa ni mod lamin nga fayne nga fayne ye mo na fonye kabin bina kan tambita tambita nteri manyin fatu ha tambita la sugal ala dinni wol bebe siri be la moyka ah fatu dan so am fanan tambita jela ni subala la ngaje dinni wol be jet talanta nen kili warol e be serin jelen sa lamin fanante ku kili woke no la ba lamin bita ka wulo ตะเลยเจดีเนี่ยคุณนี่มันสิเยคารุนะเลสโนลามอยราโจเตบาลอนนะมุเนกะเกอาฟอนเดมานยาเตบาลอนเตลจิโกดอาฟอนเดมามุ
Hello, viewers and listeners. Here we are again. Science, LBS. Today, our topic blood and circulation. Blood and circulation. But before we move to our lesson proper, there were five questions I gave you on assignment. I want us to look at them once again. The first question was, name three organs of the digestive system. Name three organs of the digestive system. Three organs of the digestive system, you can pick any three of these. Mouth, stomach, small intestine, Large intestine, rectum, anus. These are all organs of the digestive system. And you take your answer is correct. So come your answer. Number two, which organ of the digestive system rolls the food into the balls, into balls? That is, the part of the digestive system that rolls the food into, the, into balls is called what? It's called tongue, T-O-N-G-U-E. Then number three, that the food into smaller pieces. Thus, thus, chew the food into smaller pieces. That is, what chew the food into smaller pieces or what breaks the food into smaller pieces? It is the, the teeth. The teeth breaks, the teeth break the food into smaller pieces or the teeth chew the food into smaller pieces. Number four, does does moistening the food? Does does moisten the food? Or what makes the food wet in the digestion? The saliva. Saliva produced by the salivary glands moistens the food. Then number five, when we swallow food, it goes through the gullet into the when we swallow food, it goes through the gullet into the into the stomach. S T O M A C H into the stomach. These are our corrections. Number one, name three organs of the digestive system: mouth, stomach, small intestine, light intestine, rectum, anus. Any of any three of any three is correct. Tongue, sorry, number two, which organ of the digestive system rolls the food into balls? The part of the organ that rolls the food into balls is the tongue. Number three, does that chew the food into smaller pieces? The teeth is responsible for that, that is breaking the food into smaller pieces. Number four, does that moisten the food? That is, what part of, what part or organ makes the food wet. It is the saliva. This saliva is produced by the salivary glands, which is under your tongue. Then number five, when we swallow food into, when we swallow food, it goes through the gullet into, it, when we swallow it, it goes right down through the gullet to the stomach. Then we move to our lesson proper. Blood and circulation. Blood is very important in our life. 
it is a liquid called plasma. And this plasma contains red cells and white cells. Blood moves around or circulates around the body. Right from your head, right down to the toes. It is moving, day in, day out. It has never stopped. Now this blood, why is it moving? The blood is moving because it is the transporter. It is the transportation or transporter of these nutrients. It carries the oxygen we breathe in. It carries the nutrient, the food that we eat, the nutrients of the food that we eat into all parts of this body. And the action of carrying these nutrients into our body by the blood moving around our body, going round and round, that's why we call it circulation, round and round, this is why we call it circulatory system. This is why we call it as blood circulation or circulatory system. Blood is carried into tubes called blood vessels and is pushed around by a pump. Blood is blood vessels. You have blood vessels or tubes, you may call it. These blood vessels or tubes carry the blood into all parts of our body. There is a pump, a blood pumping machine. We can call it a blood pumping machine in the system. And that one is called the heart. That one, the pump or the organ responsible for pumping the blood into our body is called the heart. Our blood vessels and the heart. These are the major parts or major organs that are responsible for blood circulation. If you look at our diagram here, those of you, the central organ there, the red in color central organ, that looks like a love sign, called the heart, H-E-A-R-T. It is called the heart. You can see blood vessels going around in all the body. One of them is red in color. It's colored red and the other is colored blue. Can you see that? Yes, those, those watching, you can see. Them. Now, those red vessels, those red blood vessels are what we call arteries. The red blood vessels are what we call arteries. T-E-R-I-E-S, address, when it is more than one, when it is one, you just say A-R-T-E-R-Y. Then the blue ones are what we call the veins, are the veins. There are two blood vessels shown, but they are up to three. You have the third one, which is, which is found in the organs called the capillary or capillaries. Capillaries is the third blood vessel. It is found between the organs. It is connecting the organs together. This head is the pumping machine. It is the blood pumping machine that pumps the blood into the body. You have the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries. Each of them also has a function, of which we are going to look at one by one. The arteries, they are thick blood vessels. They are thick blood vessels. Thick blood vessels, they look like this. They are large and blood vessels. They have, very, they have a small hole. All the rest of the part of the blood tube is, is closed, so it has a thick wall. While the veins 
they have thin walls. The veins, the veins, the hole is bigger. The holes or the blood flow is bigger or wider in the veins than than in the arteries. This is simply because these veins they are collecting the blood right from the heart, which is pumped straight. The surges or the, the, the pumping action that is heart, coming from the heart, is very hard, is very strong. Why the walls are going to be thick at, or are thicker than the veins. The arteries carry the blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Return the blood to the heart. The capillaries they are connecting the organs and the, the organs, they are connecting the veins to the organs. When they connect the, the organs to the, uh, the, 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 the when they connect the organs, the arteries will carry the blood through it. Next with the veins, then they will return the blood back to the heart. Let's look at them. Organs and functions of the circulatory system. We said the heart is the pumping machine of the blood. The heart is the pumping machine of the blood. It is right in your chest. Pumps. If you want to feel the, the beat of your heart, just put your hand on one of your arteries on your You will see how the surges are going. It kicks. Almost every second it kicks. Almost every second it kicks. So the heart is pumping the blood to the body. The arteries, the arteries carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body. The arteries, they carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body. They are the suppliers from the heart to the rest of the body. The arteries are usually large blood vessels and they finally divide into small, smaller arteries which go into different organs. They finally divide into several smaller arteries which goes, which goes into because all the organs of our body need the blood supply. That is, what the blood supply is oxygen and the nutrients of our food. So all those things that the blood is carrying, is transporting, all the parts of our body needs it. So therefore, the blood, the, the arteries, they break or divide into smaller ones that gets into smaller or different organs in our body. The veins. The veins carry blood back to the heart from the organs. The veins, they carry blood back to the heart from the organs. Or some will say the, blood, the veins return blood back, blood, return blood to the heart. After the blood is being carried to all parts of the body with the oxygen that we breathe in, with the oxygen that we eat, in, uh, uh, absorb in, 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 in the food, it is going to transport it the, 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 the transportation into the body now is the arteries. The, when it is carried, the body utilizes all these nutrients. And then what is supposed to come out, right, then will, travel, will move out through the veins. Through the veins. That is why if you look at our... The arteries are red. They collect the red blood. They collect the blood, carrying the, ox the oxygen, carrying the minerals, carrying the nutrients of the food into all the body, parts of the body. When the body utilizes all this, then the pipe byproduct of all this now will have to come out. The oxygen now will release what we call carbon dioxide. And now it is coming out. Now, 
is going back through the blue one, which is the veins. So that's it. The arteries carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body, while the the veins return blood back to the heart. Then we move the capillaries. They are very fine tubes in the organs. Very fine tubes in the organ, or we can say they are very tiny tubes in the organs. They are found in the organs. They have, they have very tiny walls which allow substances that the blood needs to move out of into the organs. The capillaries connect the arteries and the veins. Here it is saying they are very tiny blood vessels. Thin walls again. Their walls are very thin. When I say thin, they look like this. It's very thin. You have a very big hole there. But the walls are, the walls are very thin. Why are the walls thin? Because the walls are thin because they allow the substances that the blood need to move from the capillaries. Now it is here where the blood will now collect good nutrients, the oxygen that we breathe in. That's where it is now going to collect it because the walls are so it is closer to the blood. At that's the time now it will pass through the linings of the capillaries and get into the, to the the blood will now carry it to all parts of the body and other organs. We say the capillaries connect the arteries and veins. Yes, the capillaries also connect the veins because if you look at the arteries, arteries carry to the body. And the veins return the blood to the heart. The arteries carry blood from the heart into the body and the veins return blood to the heart. So of course connection to and fro there must be something there that will connect them. Now the, 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 the blood vessels that, is, that are responsible for the connection or that connects them is capillaries. These capillaries they, they connect the veins and supply blood to the body with all the nutrients in the blood that the body need then after the body be use, using it using making best use of it it has to go back to the heart now what is responsible or through which blood vessel is is, is the used uh, the, uh, blood going back it is going back through the veins to the heart and the cycle continue that is why we say cycle. It goes round and round. It goes round and round. What substances do you think the blood carry? Or what substances do you think the blood carries around the body? Blood transports the digested food into all the parts of the body. The blood transports the digested food to all parts. I think we had discussed it last, we have already discussed about it when we, we are talking about digestive system. The food, the good part of the food that we need from the food that we are eating is going to be transported to the parts of the body, to the parts of the body by the blood. The blood does not only stop there. The blood also carries oxygen from the lungs to other parts of the body. The oxygen that we breathe in, that cool air that we breathe in, is carried to all parts of the body by the blood from the lungs. Waste substances in the blood that the body does not need at all are carried to the kidneys which get rid of them. 
There are waste substances in the blood. The blood may be carrying waste materials that the blood does not need or the body does not need. Now this will have to go back to what we call the kidneys. The kidneys are two in shape. They are being like structures. They are being like structures at our heart, at the back of our, at our back. This. These kidneys are very, very important. The, the unwanted substances in the blood will now be passed on. Now these kidneys are serving as filters. When this unwanted substance is, pa is passed onto the kidneys, now the, these kidneys now will filter it. Will make it clean. It will filter it. The clean part of it will move into the body. Then the unwanted or unclean part of it will come down. It will come down through through a tube called the urethra, then it will finally come and store here. This is called the bladder. It will be now finally stored in a, in a small bag under our legs. Now this is called the bladder. That's where this unwanted of the blood will be stored and usually it is in water form. It will be stored there. And finally, until at certain time when we are uncomfortable with it, then we, that's the time you hear, I want help. That's the time we go to the bathroom or the toilets or the, the toilets and remove it out through our sex organ. We remove it out. That's what we, the part, the part of the blood that is removed out, that is what we call urine. It is called urine. It is called urine. That's why sometimes you say, I want to go and urinate. I want to coming out because it's toxic. Harmful in our body. Don't stay more longer time in your body. When you when they are stored in your bladder, you feel uncomfortable, don't keep them there. Go and expose, dispose them. They need to go out. They are toxic. Because just like we said in the feces, they contain bacteria. So this urine has to come out. When it comes out, then that's the time we are comfortable. So before we move on to another one, we have to go back and see how the blood is being moved. We said blood circulation, blood is made up of liquid and white cells. Blood is a very, is a very important liquid, yeah, we know that, and it moves or circulates around the body, carrying substances from one place to another. And this blood moving from one place to another, carrying substances such as oxygen, nutrients, is what we call circulatory system. The blood is tubes. That is, the blood has three, there are three blood vessels, and these three blood vessels are the arteries, veins, and capillaries. The arteries... We said they are thick in nature. They have thick veins. They are smaller. And the capillaries, they have very tiny walls. The heart, we said, is the pump, blood pumping machine. Is the blood pumping machine. Blood pumping machine. When I say that blood pumping machine, that means this is, this is, is the pumps blood into our body. So 
I, 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 I could say Masini should understand it that way. So the heart pumps, pumps blood to the body. While the arteries come from the heart to the body. The veins to the heart. They cut veins and the arteries. Connects the arteries and the veins together. When the vein, the arteries, all parts of the body, the substances that the body needs, the, the, the capillaries now will connect it and link it to the veins so that the veins can return it back to the heart. So if you look at our diagram, you have that is the heart and the veins. The heart is the pumping machine. The arteries carry blood from the heart to the heart, return it to the heart. The organs and functions of the circulatory system. The heart is the pumping machine of the blood. The arteries carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body. The arteries are usually large blood vessels. They divide into smaller arteries which go into different organs. The veins, they carry blood back to the heart from the organs. The capillaries, we say, they are very fine tubes in the organs. They have very tiny walls which allow the substances that the body needs to move out of the capillaries into the organs. The, the capillaries, arteries, and veins. We may ask ourselves, what substances do you think the blood, carry, the blood carries around the body? The substances that the blood may carry to our body is, one, food, sub, food substances or food nutrients. Two, oxygen. These are some of the things that the blood carry into our body. It says blood transports the digested food to all parts of the food body. The digested food nutrients, that is the good part of the food that we eat, it is the blood that carries it to all the parts of our body. Number two, the next one, it says it also carries oxygen from the lungs to other parts of the body. Right? So the blood does not only transport food nutrients, but it also transports the oxygen to all parts of our body. The oxygen that we breathe in, when it gets to the lungs, now in the lungs, lungs now the blood will collect those, that oxygen and transport it to all parts of the body. Waste substances in the body are carried to the kidneys. We get rid of them. That is, which takes them out. Now, the unwanted part of our, 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 our in the Substances that, are, that the body does not need will now be transported. It will get into our kidneys. When we say kidneys, kidneys are being two, they are two structures at, the back, at our backs. They are what we call the kidneys. Now these kidneys are that filters. When we say filters, I, I could simplify it to say they are the ones that will make it or will clean it. The, 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 the unwanted part substances will now pass the kidneys and the kidneys will filter it. When they filter it, the good part of it will go to the rest of the body. Right? It will go back to the rest of the body. The unwanted part of it will come down through a tube called the ureter and it will get into a small bag called the bladder, we will store it there until at the time we feel uncomfortable and we say we, 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 say we go to the, to, to the bathroom or to the toilet to ease ourselves. It will now, this, blood, the, this bladder will store it until at that time and what is being stored here is already in water form. Now, when we are on ease, we go to the to the that uh, 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 to our sex organs, okay? That sex organs will pour out what we call urine. 
water form and this urine is that is why when it is overstayed when it is overstored in our bladder particularly at night we feel very it has chemicals it has to come out if you even if you see this the the, the 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 signs that i say just sometimes most of the time just look at the places where urine is being poured in our bathroom all the time you will see these main blocks have been getting cracked and cracked because they contain acid or urine content acid right so that's how it will come out then we move finally we say blood circulation blood and circulation this is the movement of the blood or the flow of blood from the heart to the rest of the body and back to the heart the flow of blood from the heart to the body and back to the heart is what we call blood circulation we have an exercise here to do the first question say list two substances carries list two substances that the blood carry list two substances that the blood carry we are going to do it together try your answer before i give you our my answer list two substances that the blood carry one of them is food nutrients That's the second one is oxygen carry into our body then number two what is the function of the arteries the function we say arteries blood from the heart from the heart to the rest of the blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Number three, the blood pumping machine is the task task. The blood pumping machine is the heart. H E A R T. Number four, does that return blood to the heart? That is what return blood what returns blood to the heart? The veins return blood to the heart. Number four. Name the three organs or the three types of blood vessels. Number five, the three types of blood vessels. A. B. Veins. C. Are the three types of blood vessels. These are the three types of blood vessels. Our answers are number one, food nutrients. Two substances are oxygen. Number two, at what and um, what is the arteries carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body? Three, what is the function? Uh, number three, the pump blood pumping machine is the what is the heart. Number four, does that return blood to the heart? That is the veins. Number five, name three vessels. The three types of blood vessels are arteries, veins, and capillaries. Then. An assignment for you to do before we meet once before, before we meet again. Number one, which organ is the blood pumping machine? Number two, name three organs of the blood circulatory system. Number three, the smallest blood vessels are the dust dust. Number four, which blood vessels have the thickest walls? I want you to answer these questions before we meet again. I read. One, which organ is the blood pumping machine? Two, name three organs of the blood circulatory system. Three, the smallest blood vessels are the das das. Number four, which blood vessels have the thickest walls? Until we meet once again, I say bye bye.
Thank you.